All I know is one minute I'm home, basking in the wonder of my golden years. We've done all we can do. Are you a comic book fan? Well, Deacon Hall is the arch nemesis. I hear you loud and clear, Lord. I'll be on my way. I tell you what I'm thinking, murder. That's what I'm thinking. Deacon, Deacon, listen, it's obvious the lights are on, but nobody's home. I'm not talking about this clown. I'm talking about the pastor. The Bible does say that the Lord shall return at the sound of a trumpet. Moving on. What about this clown? She needs to be around normal people. Do you have anybody black in this group? You know, I was thinking the same thing. You got any white folks? Oh, my great. God. Now the clown's on the loose. Well, I never. Pastor, you're not going to believe this. We have another clown heading toward the church. It gets. Are they multiplying? Not exactly. Remember the lady in Sunday service with that big floppy hat, the one that Angel was picking the bugs out of? Mm -hmm. That one. Mm -hmm. Call Pastor McKnight. Well, I did. And he said that his world is now yours. <laughs> Reverend Jenkins... May I have a word with you? Have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. May I serve you some tea? Oh, that'd be lovely. That's American breakfast. And we have sugar and cream. Oh, yes, sugar. And how may I help you, Beatrice, is it? Oh, it's Sister Winpeg. My mama do something I don't know about. You need to do something about the clown. Pastry, perhaps. Oh, well, maybe just one. I'm trying to watch my girlish figure and all. Now, about the clown. Why do we need to do anything about the clown? Oh. I thought it would be obvious. Obvious? No, no not too obvious. No. That outlandish outfit. <laughs> it just does not like us. Did you hear me? Yes, I did. I was just trying to recall the last time I saw someone with a hat the size of Texas and an entire flower garden uh -huh. sitting on top of it. Bugs and all. Mm -hmm. Bugs and all. Mm-hmm. And indeed, I think the word outlandish did come to mind. Well, I never! I'm going to take this up with Pastor McKnight. Well, I never. And I never will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ooh. at some point, one of the two of us is going to have to learn to behave. Uh, it won't be me. I won't be here, <laughs> Oh my oh, people wonder why pastors leave the pastor. Yes. <laughs> All right. Serious. Serious. I have got to get these sermon notes done. So if you love me, will you please hold everything at bay? Three, four hours. Well, please. here's the thing. I actually need to go home and change for church tonight. I can lock the door, though. Sold. Okay. 
All right. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, honey, I am so, so sorry. Sure. I'll be there just as soon as I can. All right. Bye-bye. Pastor, sorry to bother you, but Pastor McKnight left a message while I was out to lunch. Mm -hmm. He asked if you would go visit one of his member's sisters who's really suffering from depression. Oh, girl. Is there a real emergency? They just put Miss Darcy in hospice, so she wants me there. He can't do the message tonight, so I'm starting from scratch. I mean, if it's an emergency, you know I'll go. Well, it didn't seem like it, but he did say that it's been going on for some time now. All right. Some time. Okay, well, get me her phone number, and I'll call her as soon as I can. Okay. Okay. And by the way, her name is Mrs. Staley. Miss Staley. Miss Staley. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate you, girl. Appreciate you. You're welcome. That ought to do it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My helper. Can't do it without you. Pastor, the toilet in the men's bathroom is overflowing. Like this day hadn't been long enough. <laughs> Any chance Deacon Hall's sitting on it? I'm serious, the water is heading toward the sanctuary. Yikes, you get the mop, I'll get the pail. Well, today certainly didn't go as planned, did it? <laughs> ah! Oh, I forgot to call Miss Staley. That won't be necessary. Why not? Mrs. Staley's sister just called. Mrs. Staley committed suicide. Lynn Jenkins, are, are you Mrs. Staley's sister? I'm uh, Marcy. I, I know who you are. You're that pastor, that reverend that didn't have enough time for my sister. Please, I am so sorry. No, no, no. You're, you're sorry to mean anything. You know she's dead because of you? I mean, get off my property. Get, get, get off. Lord, we need you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to call you. Yeah. Pastor didn't come in today. Hey, she's not answering her phone. What's going on? Well, Pastor McKnight asked her to, you know, mate with one of his members that, that was suffering with depression. But with all everything going on around here, by the time she got around to it, the lady had killed herself. Oh, my word. What did yeah. Lynn do? Well, she ran over to their house, but they actually slammed the door in her face. Oh, no, they didn't. Yes. I'm, I'm going to go over her house and check on her. You know what? That'll be good.